We've got the quiff, we've got the fringe. Let's do this. Hello, you groovy bastards who reside mainly in a website-based location. My name is Jack Howard. And I'm Love Voldemort. Why didn't you tell me? You grew the nose back. So we're going to say goodbye to the year 2010. Let's welcome him to the room. Alright, how you doing? Well, that's nice. He's got, he's got all yeah, dressed up, up. he's got a bow tie on. That's mm. lovely. Nice of you to do that. What are you staring at? What are you staring at? What's with the... The growth. What growth? There's no growth. Well, there is, because like, it's a 2010. Zero, zero. Right. It looks like there's an alien in him. Right, okay. Looks like he's going to burst out. Okay, if that is a growth, I'm going to have to ask you to go. leave Sleep. now, because I don't want to catch it. It's probably the boat I was for, it's distracting us. Thanks for Inception! Yeah. Out of all the films that came out this year, out of Scott Pilgrim, Inception and all that, I went for The Social Network. The film that proved you can't get to 500 million friends without being a bit of a knobhead. So, Jack, why yeah. did you pick this movie as your favourite of the whole year? Well, Dean! <laughs> well, Dean! <laughs> I'll tell you that! I picked it because it has some bloody good acting in it! <laughs> if you haven't seen it because you thought it was just going to be a movie about Facebook, so wrong, Watch it because it's very, very good and it needs more. But they are allowed to not like it, aren't they? Yes, you're allowed to not like yes. it, but I, <laughs> we can't be friends. My favourite movie of the whole year was this <laughs> Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Now I have a poster for a head. I don't know, I just thought everybody stepped up the game a little bit. It, I was, mean, it was the most character driven one, which I thought was great. Voldemort scared the shit out of me. Dobby's death was rushed. That's my only issue with the film. He sits there having this big speech and the camera zooming in. He's like, I'm going to save Harry Potter because he is my friend Don't and all it. these other people are there and uh, something else she's is going. Knife in a minute. Let's go she's because she's a got a knife. I'm going to save my friends because I'm a free. She's oh, that knife. Oh, oh, there it is. Yep. oh, I've got a knife in me. Yeah, I was warning you. I've been kind of kicked off my stride now. I know. Mm -hmm. Why are we on the beach? My worst movie of the whole year. Charlie St. Cloud. Jesus Christ. It took the proverbial shit cake of movies. The Sixth Sense, but for teenage girls. He had sex with a ghost in a graveyard, even if it was a living person. If it, if it was a living person in a graveyard, it'd still be sick. Still not romantic. There's, there's <laughs> corpses surrounding you. What if a zombie attack started? They'd be the first to go. It's the worst place to have sex. My least favourite movie the entire year was Alice in Wonderland. It was kind of like, you must go here and do this and do that to the battle at the end. Ring, ring. Oh. Hello. Hello, Tim Burton. This is your producers from Disney. Hi. We want you to make a movie. Got any ideas? Well, basically, I think what we should do is um, put your phone down on me. What I think we should oh, do oh. is um, we should take a fairy tale uh -huh. that a lot of people hold dear to the heart and call it that, but actually base it on the sequel and then put some stripes on it. I'll get my best friend Johnny Depp. Wait, 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 wait. What? Johnny Depp? Yeah, he's two Ps. So then, Dean, Mr. Dobbs, what was your favourite compact disc of the entire year? <laughs> well, Mr. Howard, my, uh, my favourite album, compact disc, had to be young guns. All our kings are dead. Oh, really? Why would that be? Well, I bloody love the uh, the dark melodic tones of the album. I love the album cover too because it's got, it's got a, a lion, lion on it. Yes, yeah. that makes everything better. I agree with you. <laughs> do you remember that time when we shot that lion? Oh, yeah, it's like we do. Yeah, it wasn't well, a lion, though, was it? No, it, it was, was a, a human. Small Indian boy. Would you like to know my favourite album? Of, excuse me, my moustache. My favourite album of the entire year was Future's EP. Oh, bloody good album. One second there. It's so catchy, every song. It, I just not, I can't get enough of it. It's bloody good. It's and bloody if you good. haven't heard of them, I am I quite... You should, because if you like that sort of music, the sort of pop, punk type of music, I recommend you check it out. It's bloody good. It's very good. Oh, I see you're <laughs> going for the Salvador Dali look today. Oh, yes. I see that little... Uh, what is that? What do you call that? Um, the... Charlie Hitler look. What do you think of the There Will Be Blood soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to go on to the worst album of the year. Yes. Did Bring Me The Horizon bring out an album this year? I think they bloody did. I think they, oh yeah, I think they did. Yeah. Then that one. That's probably the worst album of the year. You know why? No, somebody! You better go on our Facebooks and Twitters. Yeah man, be there or be Hitler. And nobody wants to be Hitler. Nobody.